My music playlists are the only place in the world where you can listen to Easy e Hatsune Miku, and ABBA within the span of 10 minutes. They did not think that hashtag through. Hashtag Creamer Nation. Hmm, yeah, no, that's... I, I don't want to look at that hashtag. Canceling a Scooby-Doo movie for a tax write-down is ironically hilarious. Do you know the motives behind 95% of Scooby-Doo villains? Your Tinder date welcomes you into their bedroom. They excuse themselves and go to the restroom, leaving you alone on their bed. What is your next move? A. Lick their Himalayan salt lamp. B. Lick their Himalayan salt lamp. C. Lick their Himalayan salt lamp. D. All of the above. The best part about living with my girlfriend is now I eat so many new exotic foods I never ate before, like yogurt or lettuce or breakfast. I left my teddy in my room and the housekeeper did this? <laughs> That's great, I love that. After I cut a bagel, would you like the side that is somehow three times larger than the original bagel, or the side that is the first object ever to have only two dimensions? Sorry, I can't today, I have to sit in my room and feel weird. <laughs> It happens to the best of us, okay? Were you allowed to express emotions as a child, or do you get that pain in the back of your throat when you feel that need to cry? If you're having a bad day or a weird day, you should be allowed to set the towels on fire and target a little bit. I'm sure they won't mind, just, just put them out, I guess. Excuse me, German Duncan? We're suck- uh, oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, what's that supposed to say? I'm begging y'all to remember that you're naming people, not just babies. A 17-year-old will have that name, a 28-year-old will have that name, a 43-year-old will have that name, a 77-year-old grandparent will have that name. Maybe we should rethink choosing McKensley Grayson. Yes, I'm shaming, wanting a less common name is cool, but naming your child KitchenAid Whiskey Jones is borderline abuse. My kids had money to spend at the store. My daughter bought a toy and my son bought a rotisserie chicken. Not a bad choice. What if instead of having sirens, ambulances just played move bitch get out the way by Ludacris? I, I don't know if that'd be as effective. I thought Prey was okay, but I'm still sore they passed on my Predator movie pitch where a Predator lands on Earth, never gets out of his ship, just sits around on his computer for a few days, then buys some skulls on the way back home to show his friends. People come over to your house and are like, can I get myself a glass of water? And you're like, sure. And you look over and they've chosen literally the most random glass you've ever seen. I'm a bitch, I'm a lover, I'm a cat churning butter. <laughs> they, they, they had cats churning butter in the 12th century? This can't be the same brain I was using to read 750 page novels in three days during middle school. Wait, you guys actually read your books in middle school? I went on a youth backpacking trip. I asked one of the teens what music he was listening to. He said, some classic rock. I assumed he meant Led Zeppelin or something, but then he listed off Blink-182 and Coldplay, and suddenly it felt like I came to America on the Mayflower. Somewhere, a San Francisco divorce lawyer is about to have a very exciting day. Is there anyone in the Bay Area with a child who can run in front of my car on full self-driving beta to make a point? I promise I won't run them over. We'll disengage if needed. This is a serious request. This is completely completely safe as there will be a human in the car. Okay, someone volunteered, they just have to convince their wife. Hmm. Okay, but like, imagine if Paul McCartney was just scrolling on TikTok and this came up on his For You page. When you realize at the end of this decade there may be no members of the Beatles left alive. Yeah, I, I wouldn't want to see that. Thinking about when I worked in top shop fitting rooms and I was so bored on a dead morning that I got down on floor and pretended I'd fainted so I could get sent home, but nobody came so I had to stand back up and finish my shift. I want to see the security camera footage of that. Well, that's enough reading for one night, I say on the 30th page of a book that began with a 28 page prologue I skipped. The World Excel Championships are on ESPN2 right now, just by the way. I did not know this existed. Getting pissed off because I can't find 17,000 more songs that sound exactly like the one I'm enjoying, but aren't that song exactly but make me feel the same way so I can continue the precise vibe. I have the hardest life anybody has ever had, by the way. This looks like a werewolf movie. Yeah, this looks like something I'd walk in on my mom watching on ABC Family or some shit. I want to have a small wedding. No acquaintances, no work friends, no extended family. Also, no close friends, no immediate family, no bride, no venue, just me alone in a room with a very extravagant cake. Oh, you spent 8k to take your kids to Disney? My son just watched the garbage truck empty our trash 20 minutes ago, and he's still talking about it. That must be a kid who's very easy to entertain. <laughs> the Chicago-style hot dog implies the existence of the MLA-style hot dog. I love when people refer to a solution as a silver bullet because it implies the problem is a werewolf. We've all been there, Little Pepper. All been there.
Daphne looks so sad. I saw Skull Pineapple at Target, and I don't know how they expect me to think about anything else ever again. I don't know about you, but that would be an instant buy from me. But it's Target. You always walk out with something, even if you say, I'm not buying anything, not this time. Hot air balloons kick ass. Are they safe? Not really. Can you stop if you don't like it? Think again. But can you steer? Listen, don't bring that negative energy into this wicker basket, okay? I'm gonna light this flamethrower. Don't cry about your past. Cry about your future. Everything is going to get worse. Open AI is f***ing hilarious. Write a Reddit am I the asshole post about theft. I, 18 male, stole $20 from my little sister, 9 female, to buy cigarettes. Am I the asshole? Edit, to clarify, I have a full-time job and my sister is a child. I know I can afford cigarettes, I just don't want to spend my mo my own money on them. Is this a threat? You're low on ink. Never run low on ink again. If there's one thing I didn't expect Ben 10 and American Dad to have in common, it's that they both have an episode about ASMR. Oh. Garlic bread grilled cheese. That is all. Hold the f*** up, you might have did something. Oh, it's wonderful. My boyfriend makes my life infinitely more interesting and exciting, and in exchange, I remind him to drink water. Hey, drinking water's important, though. In fact, pause the video right now, get some water, take a drink, and then continue. Boss, you've all had three months to come up with the best video game character. What did we come up with? Second employee, a hedgehog that wears shoes. Meanwhile, at Nintendo, employee, a small plumber from Italy. Saw this and I can't stop thinking about how much better I am at making plans than God. Your plan? God's plan. Yeah, I, I don't know what God's up to, but uh, I mean, it's not that hard to get to the finish line. Really wish they'd put lion under the lion. <laughs> Idris Elba. Yeah, it would have been funny. Come on. Oh my God, guys, lion is in this movie? Periods. One, a complete sentence. Two, a typo. Three, an elipus. Four, now you're just being excessive. Calling bullshit on a side bowls. They're not healthy, no way. Bowl of sherbet with granola on top. Egg McMuffin is a superior breakfast in every way, including from a health perspective. I am not a doctor and I have absolutely no data to support this claim. Welsh women used to curse people out by falling to their knees, pulling out their titties, and screaming obscenities at their victim. It's sad how we let traditions die. You know, it's never too late to bring them back. My mom was me for Halloween. <laughs> Which one's your mom? Is a scary wet dream a nutmare? Uh, uh, I don't, uh, I don't know. My mom told me I needed to learn how to relax more, so I dropped my kids at her house. <laughs> Hanging with your boys on a wire must be so fire for a bird. Dude, I wish I could just hang on a wire. Finding $15 sitting in my Venmo balance and treating it like it's my offshore bank account. Spend it wisely. Hey, quick question. How do I plot a book? Write down everything that happens in the story and then in your second draft, make it look like you knew what you were doing all along. Why is the pressure to be the bigger person always placed on the person who was wronged? That is a good question. Recommending anime is hard because every anime has some amount of anime bullshit and it's hard to know what someone's threshold for specific types of anime bullshit is unless you know them extremely well. Me, how can I impress your dad, girlfriend? He's really into cars. Me, okay, later. Her dad, nice to meet you. Me, let's talk about Pixar's finest movie. <laughs> there's sibling rivalry, then there's my four-year-old daughter faking a phone call from her one-year-old brother's nursery to tell us that we don't have to collect him today because he's going to live there now and he won't even miss us. I just had such an embarrassing memory of me being in middle school with a side braid and getting a Starbucks Frappuccino and telling the barista my name was Katniss. Then this poor 20-something had to call out the name Katniss when that is clearly not my name. Imagine you get to this point and your card declines. I can't believe how much they shave your teeth down before you get veneers. Like, what the f***? Hopefully, this is the sort of thing you make a payment for first? Uh, because that would suck. Why the f*** do baby clothes got pockets? They don't even own sh Well, they make sh Turns out the world's greatest drawing of a frog was done in 1970 by Ito Jakuchu. That is pretty great, not gonna lie. Shout out to the crowd surfer with a boner so erect security had to talk to us about it after the show. <laughs> Me to my four-year-old son. I just got off the phone with Santa and he is so angry about what you did that I am genuinely afraid for your life. We need to put you in hiding because at this point I think he would even kill me to get to you. Jesus Christ, Summer. Why do parents bust in your room like they trying to catch you cheating on them with another pair of parents or something? These shots are too similar. You know what? You're right. Founder of Costco, drunk as hell. It's gonna have hot dogs and optometrists. 
I feel like Italy is just trolling us with half of these pasta shapes. <laughs> On this day in 2004, 800 pounds of human sh** and p were dumped out of the Dave Matthews Band tour bus onto a boat full of sightseers in Chicago. On August 8, 2004, over the Kinsey Street Bridge in Chicago, Illinois, a tour bus belonging to the Dave Matthews Band dumped an estimated 800 pounds of human waste from the bus's septic tank onto a passenger sightseeing boat on the Chicago River below. Dude, every single passenger on that boat had to have had some sh** karma, pun intended. Prosciutto is like if ham was a s Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. Toast and oatmeal kind of day today, drooling emoji. Mother f eating the food they gave to horses in World- <laughs> That they gave to horses in World War One. <laughs> yeah, that looks pretty gross. 